Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Banished. So, we've been expanding this town a little bit. A little bit of urban redevelopment in the last few episodes. We've got some more crop fields coming in. Looks like we haven't quite got all of this wheat, and unfortunately winter is coming soon, so you can see the yield is dropping. As it's not harvested, it just dies off at the end of the season. Are you going to try and get some more for me? Just a little bit more? Excellent. And, of course, more wheat means more alcohol. So how are we doing? We produced 60 units of alcohol last season and 60 this season. Do we still have any wheat left though? We've got a thousand wheat in storage so yeah we should be good for alcohol. That'll keep people nice and happy. Not that of course they have any reason to be unhappy. I'm in no me- in, you know there's no way I'm some sort of tyrannical dictator who just arbitrarily tells people what jobs to do without asking them at all. No 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 no. It would be interesting if there was a mechanic for people to prefer a certain sort of job and that to keep people happy you would actually need to provide the sort of jobs they'd want. But right now I just tell them to do what they want. Like, you just graduated school, you're a fisherman. You just graduated, you go work in the iron mine. I don't care what you want to do. I suppose it is kind of medieval-ish. There's not that many professions that people would get. And of course we only have the school, so it's not like people are going to be, you know, going to college or university. They've uh, only got basic schooling, just to make them that a little bit more productive for me, their benevolent dictator. So this school is almost done? How close are we? 80% complete. Yes, yeah, so they've built 47 out of the 80 build units required. Can you hear that? Oh, uh, maybe I'm hearing... Yeah, I thought I was hearing building noises, but it's actually our quarry. We've got ten of our townsfolk working here. So a significant fraction of our total number of people actually just working here producing stone for us. We can probably afford to cut that down eventually, once our store of stone gets up high enough. But we have another trader. Oh, Mitch, the stone cutter, was crushed by a rock. No, oh, we did lose someone in an accident. That's a shame. Hmm. Sheep! Haha! -ha, sheep! Excellent. Right, I, I want all your sheep. That's going to cost us 3,600. And they will not take any food in return for that. That's a shame. I've got lots of food to sell. Why do you not want my food? Hmm. Okay. Well, I've got 84 iron tools. So what would that net me? Probably not. 672 and 50 iron, 50 hide coats. It's not enough for all six. Okay, I can get two sheep. That's not very many. Okay, maybe what we need to do is bump up our inventory. So, we've still got some spare hide coats. Maybe if I gave away all our coats in exchange for some sheep. I'm sure people won't mind about that. Iron tools we're not making any of, but we do have a lot of steel tools, so let's get 100 steel tools brought over and we can sell those. Let's get rid of all the iron tools first and then we'll make up the surplus with some steel tools. I wonder if there's anything else we could sell. Hmm. Well, we definitely want all of this from them, so every visit, bring me, bring me that kind of stuff. Okay, let that run on a bit, and uh, wait for stuff to arrive. Hopefully our labourers will start carrying the stuff over as soon as they can. And we'll see how many sheep we can actually buy. It's just a shame we don't have anything else they want. But firewood, maybe if we put a couple of hundred units of firewood in there as well. Yeah. They might want firewood. They seem to want kind of produced goods. Yeah, they will buy firewood. It's not very valuable, but it might work out for us. Just got to wait for people to start bringing stuff over. They've already brought over some more hide coats, which probably means we're going to run out of clothing. But sheep, we can shear and make wool, I think. I think that's how it works. Not much of a herdsman, really, despite my recent obsession with making sure we get some livestock. Our school has been finished. We'll have a teacher go there. So Nat should give us plenty 
Yeah, okay, so so a lot of people graduated recently, because that's gone down. But that can wait, you know. We've got two school districts now. I'm sure that will come in handy later. Depends how long we keep running with this town. Okay, I really need... Okay. They're taking a little bit longer to bring stuff than I hoped, so I'm going to quickly buy what I can. So I can get... I can think I can, we can get two. Overpaying a little bit there. Start trying to do maths in my head. This isn't going to end well. Yeah, 30, uh, 33. Will that do it? No, 34. No, 35. There we go. That's about as close as I can get it. There we go. Okay. So that nets us two sheep. So we'll complete that trade. And we'll check back in a bit. Make sure... The other, you know, try and make sure that before they leave, we get the other stuff delivered and we can buy more sheep. Never been, I've never talked about sheep so much in my life. Right. So, I want to put those sheep somewhere. So we want a pasture. Let's put a pasture right here. I don't know how much room sheep need. Mm, I don't want to make it too small. Let's make it 12 by 12. 12 by 12 pasture. That's got to be built. So it's not just quite like a crop field. They've actually got to come and build some stuff. They're going to need 44 logs. Obviously, we've got plenty of logs, and so that's not too much problem. Uh, and it looks like our sheep are just waiting in the trade post here. There's actually a, a spot for livestock specifically, just to kind of hang around. So wait for that to be finished. Has anything else been delivered yet? They've delivered some stuff, or maybe not actually. Okay, well, we're going to have to wait for that, unfortunately. Okay, they're planting all the seeds for the next season. It is early spring now. This is the 20th year of our colony. Without a single disaster, which surprises me. I don't think I've ever gone this long without a disaster. I'm sure I had disasters turned on when I started this. I might have to go check the first episode. And we've got... Okay, we get, we've hit 200 iron. Right now we're only really using iron for buildings and steel tools, so I think that'll be okay. Now I wonder if the two people who are working here go and work here, or if they turn into general labourers. That's interesting. You'd hope they'd go work here and start producing coal for us, because we are starting to run out of coal. Yeah, so you've put one person to work in the mine, and they've automatically gone to work in the wrong mine. Okay. Well, I've bumped up the number of miners. I don't think that's going to hurt us too badly. We've got four labourers and two builders at the moment, so... Everything seems to be... No! The traders left! Did the other stuff get delivered? No, I don't think it did. No, they didn't have a chance to deliver anything. So, unfortunately, we've only got two sheep out of that. Not the greatest, but once this pasture comes up, we can start herding our animals. And basically what will happen is, we put the two sheep in here, and we let them breed. They do what sheep will do, naturally, and there will eventually be more sheep. And we can set a limit and say how many sheep we want. Every time you go over that limit of sheep, they will then harvest some of them. So if I say this is for our sheep, there we go. Okay, and I can fit a maximum of nine sheep in here is basically what that's telling me. Anything over that number, anything that exceeds nine, will result in livestock being slaughtered for food. Which seems like a good thing for me. Now I can drop that down, so I could say I only want five sheep, really, and any time I go above that. But for now, I think nine might be a good number. I'll have someone work there as a herdsman. I believe it's a herdsman. Is it a herdsman? Yep, herdsman. Herdsman working in the pasture. Now, I don't know, I assume our sheep will give us wool. Because we can make wool coats. And unless I've missed, somewhere along the line, a level, a wool worker, or some kind of sheep shearing facility. Don't think so, though. We certainly seem to have built everything now. The only thing we haven't done is a tunnel. 
And so we've not really needed to tunnel through anything yet. Also, if we wanted to get through this kind of mountain range, we could put a tunnel in, but it just seems a bit unnecessary right now. Ten of seventy-two, and yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so that cemetery hasn't actually filled up yet. I thought that cemetery was full. That's a bit of a sh hmm. That's a bit odd. I'm sure that cemetery was full. Maybe we reused some of the graves. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works, actually. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Maybe the bodies decay and then the, the plot reopens. It's a bit weird. I only see one sheep in here. Where's my other sheep? Oh, no. Oh, that sheep is actually inside the building. That's adorable. He's actually he's inside the building. I couldn't see him because he was inside the building. That's That's kind of awesome. This paddock, this pasture, sorry, does look a bit empty though, with just two sheep in it. But, you know, as long as they've got space to roam freely, I'm happy. As long as they're happy, I'm happy. Now, the other thing I want to keep an eye on here is what it produces for us. Will we get any wool out of it? Maybe we only get wool when a sheep is killed. And right now, I've only two sheep, I can't actually test that. Possibly the first sheep we get, I could see about slaughtering it and seeing if that does give us wool. And we can try and find out where wool comes from. Looks like, I've been ignoring the event log here, looks like we have had a number of deaths. Yep. And we actually have run out of uh, labourers at the moment. So right now it's just our two builders and everyone who's out of work. So we've got a woodcutter out of work, foresters out of work and a herbalist out of work. So they'll be going around doing labouring jobs. So that's not too worrisome. Stone is finally back up to a reasonably good amount. And they will stop at 200. Might want to increase that. We definitely want a decent supply of stone. And we're bringing, well, 139, 100, yeah, so that's, that's bringing a good amount every year. Our mine producing 26, well, that's not producing very much. But there's still quite a lot of iron on the map, so I'm not too worried about that. Still going to need coal coming in, which is that they're producing a good amount of coal. And we need that to produce our steel tools. But yeah, so sheep, got to keep an eye on them, see if they produce any wool. Because you don't have to kill a sheep to get us wool, so I would be a bit disappointed if we have to slaughter sheep to generate it. Had a couple of people graduate as labourers, so they're now labourers. And then you know, one of the our teacher died, Malvis the teacher. Oh. Okay, and yeah, we've got people splitting their children between the two schools now, which I suppose makes sense. Definitely needed that second school though. Plenty of food coming, and if you run out of wheat though. Yeah, it looks like you've run out of wheat and now we've run out of alcohol. That's a shame. Just looking quickly, I can't remember if I bought apples. Did I buy apples? It doesn't appear that I bought any apples. One of our gatherers has died. Dashard? I thought that should Dashhead. Who calls their child Dashhead? That's terrible. So how much wheat are we getting at the moment? Well, one season, that, yeah, apparently that produced a thousand wheat. And this produced 500, but that was... We did lose some, because it was too late. Hmm. I would have thought that would have been enough wheat to make some ale all year round, but apparently not. And I could hear sheep barring. Did that signify anything? Does not appear to. Damn it, sheep. Well, first off, the sheep need to breed faster. And secondly, it appears we might have to kill them to get any wool. Which is a shame. Ooh, what's happened here? Oh no! Why have we not got anyone in our chapel? Possibly. Oh yeah, our cleric died of old age and no labour was available to replace them. So, there we go. We'll sort that out. There we go. 
all of these other buildings are still, yeah, they're all still going fine. Some of them have hit their production a bit, but that's okay. Taylor hasn't managed to make any clothes, which probably means we are running out of clothes. They're all here, I imagine now. Yeah, we've got 66 hide coats in the trading post. But, well, as soon as we start producing some wool from our sheep, which isn't going to happen for a while, then we'll start making some wool, and at least that will be a sustainable resource, rather than waiting for the hunters to bring in the hide, which they seem quite terrible at. Although we do make a number of hide coats every season. We lost one of our miners to old age. We, we are actually starting to run out of labourers. We've got 74 adults, 25 students and 24 children. So our total population is up to 123. Just we need some of these students to uh, turn into turn into labourers. And it looks like we might need an extra farmer because we are not getting the full yield out of our crop field there. That's the second second year in a row that I have seen crops go to waste. One of our sheep is escaping for a start. Excuse me, you're on are you eating my wheat? Is that what's happening here? Are you why I can't have a beer? Well, it's, yeah, if that's the case, I'm afraid you are going to be for the chop, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, you're producing quite a lot of alcohol, so... I'm just not sure why the sheep was suddenly outside of his pen. Now, I don't know if in it more affects how frequently these animals will breed. But they are taking their time. Possibly I should stop watching them. Maybe that's putting them off. And we've got another trader coming in. Maybe this one will have some cows for us. Or other stuff we can actually afford to buy. What do you have for us? Sheep! You've got more sheep. Uh, are these sheep more expensive? Good lord. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of stuff stored up. So how, ma how many sheep can I buy? All of those sheep would be 4,500 units. So if I was to sell everything we had... Yeah, clearly not enough. I can get another thousand for the steel tools. So how many sheep does that get me? Three. I can get three sheep. Uh, well, okay, we'll buy three more sheep and we might kill one or two of them to find out if that's where wool comes from. It's like we're doing some form of terrible science. Is this where sheep come from? Is this where wool comes from? Okay, now I've got to do terrible maths again. How many more steel tools do they need? Six. Yes, we're overpaying by eight units, that's fine. Seems to make them want to come back quicker. So, we'll complete that trade. And there we go, three more sheep. Which is excellent. And now we just got to wait for a labourer to come past. Pick up the sheep and... I was going to say carry it. Like, literally carry it over their shoulders, but I imagine they walk the sheep. I'm sure that's a thing that happens. One of our sheep is literally wandering off on its own. The actual bloody gate is open here. What? What? What is going on here? Why are my sheep wandering off? Oh my god, the sheep's under the water. What the hell is happening? Do the sheep walk themselves to the pasture? I assumed a labourer went and got them. I wasn't paying attention last time. Is this an actual thing that happens? It, this is hilarious. What the hell? These are some really smart sheep if they know where they've got to go. Although I say that, you know... I, they can't be that smart if they're taking them themselves to where I'm going to slaughter them. Yep, they're just walking into the pasture. Literally, lambs to the slaughter. That is fantastic. I was thinking uh, someone's going to go and lead them there, or you know, carry them there, like on their shoulders. But no, 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 just all the sheep turn up. And we even have a lamb. There was literally a lamb. There was a lamb right there. Look at him. He's tiny. I think it's exactly the same model as all the... I thought he was escaping then. I thought he was literally escaping. It's the same sheep model, it's just smaller. That's still kind of cool. 
So how many sheep does that give us now? We've got one, two, three, we've actually got six sheep. Well, I think, ladies and gentlemen, it's time we work out where wool comes from. So, we're going to have five sheep. Okay, so we now have six of five. So, oh god, wow, that was quick. That was really quick. You just, I'm just, you know, weeding the grass and suddenly kill a sheep. So what did that net us? Mutton. 200 units of mutton. That's quite a lot of mutton. But no wool. Hmm. Am I entirely mistaken about where wool comes from? Does wool not come from sheeps? Sheeps. Sheep. What is the plural of sheep? I think the plural of sheep is sheep. It is now. Because I'm not saying sheeps again. Now it's silly. I'm kind of glad they didn't kill the baby lamb. That would have been upsetting. Okay. So where does wool come from? Well, this episode is carrying on quite a bit, so I'm going to actually bring this to an end. Um, it looks like we will have a couple more episodes while I try and work out where the hell wool comes from. Um, possibly... I don't know, I'm suddenly doubting myself. Does wool come from sheep? I don't know. I'm suddenly panicking. Maybe I've been sounding like a complete idiot. Maybe wool doesn't come from sheep. I'm sure it does. I'm doubting everything in my life now. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here and go have a mental breakdown. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.